Hello friends. So today we'll start with uh, numericals based on uh, DC motor. So in previous class we have seen uh, various types of uh, DC motors, series DC motor, shunt DC motor, compound DC motor, long shunt and short shunt. So uh, there will be numericals based on these in the examination. Okay, so you have to practice more on these numericals. So we'll start uh, numerical solving today. Um, I hope you have revised the formulas which we have uh, already seen in uh, last lecture. Okay, so this is the numerical a 200 volt four pole. Lap wound DC shunt motor has 800 conductors on its armature. So, uh, first we'll try to write given data from this 200 volt means V is given supply voltage. So, V is equal to 200. Capital P is given as 4 pole, P is equal to 4. Then, lap wound. So, lap wound means A is equal to P is equal to 4 and DC shunt motor is given, uh, which has 800 conductors. Uh, that means Z is equal to 800. Then the resistance of the armature winding is 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.5 ohm and that of shunt field winding is 200 ohm. So that means RA is given as 0 0.5 ohm and RSH is given as 200 ohm, right? Then the motor takes a current of 21 ampere. That means I L is given to you as 21 ampere. Then the flux per pole is 30 milliweber. That means phi is given as 30 into 10 raised to minus 3 weber. We have to find speed and gross torque developed in the motor. So M and TA, we want to find. So this was the uh, SPP University exam question, uh, May 2015 uh, for seven marks. Okay, so from this we'll write given data, V is equal to 200 volt, P is equal to four, A is equal to P is equal to four as it is lap wound, then Z is equal to 800, RA is given as 0.5 ohm, RSH as 200 ohm, ILS 21 uh, ampere, and phi as 30 into 10 raised to minus 3 weber. Okay, so this first will uh, draw the diagram. So since it is DC shunt motor, so we'll draw its armature and uh, in shunt the field winding. So this is field winding across, uh, means these two are in parallel. RA, armature winding and SH, shunt field winding. So both are in parallel and connected across the supply voltage V. So supply voltage V is given to you. Now, since it is operating as a motor, so current will be drawn from the supply. So IL will be in this direction and IA and ISH. So IL is equal to IA plus ISH. Then this is RSH, resistance of this uh, shunt field winding and RA uh, is the resistance of this armature winding. Then EB I have shown here, which will, be, which will be opposite to that of the supply voltage. So this is plus minus EB. And since it is operating as a motor, I have written here M. Okay, and these are the brushes so I have shown. Okay, now first you have to find RSH is given to you. So ISH you can find because IL is given to you. So IA you can find from IA is equal to IL minus ISH. And ISH will be constant because this shunt winding RSH resistance is constant, supply voltage is constant. So whatever current, shunt current will flow, that will be maintained constant. And that is equal to uh, V upon uh, ISH, uh, sorry, RSH. So that is ISH. So ISH is equal to V upon RSH. That is equal to 200 upon 
200 ohm so 200 volt upon 200 ohm substituting the values we'll get the value of ish as 1 ampere now as ish is 1 ampere now il is known to you ish is known to you so ia you can find by ia is equal to il minus ish so that is 21 minus 1 equal to 20 ampere and eb you can find from the voltage equation you can apply kvl for this and you can find that that is v is equal to eb plus iara and plus the brush, brush uh, v brush but uh, as the brush drop is not given to you it will be only eb plus iara so we want to find eb so eb is equal to v minus iara so eb is equal to v minus iara we substitute the values v is given as 200 I we have calculated it as 20 ampere and RA it is given as 0.5 ohm. So substitute the values you will get after simplification you will get the value of EB as 190 volt. Now this EB value you have got. Now we also know the equation of EB as EB is equal to pi P N Z upon 60A. Right. EB is now in this equation, you can substitute the values of EB as 190. Phi value you can substitute as 30 into 10 raised to minus 3. Number of poles 4 given. So P is equal to 4. M we want to find. Z number of conductors are given as armature conductors are 800, um, then 60A. A is since it is a lap wound. A is equal to P is equal to 4. So A is equal to 4 I have substituted. Now simplify this and find out the value of N. So that N value, it comes out to be 475 RPM. So this is one part is over. Another part of this numerical is you want to find the uh, gross torque developed in the motor. That is TA. So as you know, TA formula, Ta is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into phi into Ia into Pz upon A or 1 upon 2 pi you can write directly as 0 0.159 into phi into Ia into Pz by A. Substitute the values. So that is equal to Ta equal to 0 0.159 phi as 30 into 10 raised to minus 3. Ia as 20 ampere. P as 4. Z as 800 and A is equal to P is equal to 4. So after substituting the values, simplify this to get the value of TA as 76.38. So 76.38 and as it is a torque, its unit is Newton meter. So TA is equal to 76.38 Newton meter. This is the answer. I hope you have understood this numerical. Then next a four pole 250 volt series motor has a wave connected armature with one two five four conductors so what are the given quantities capital p is equal to four v is equal to 250 it is a series dc motor and wave connected armature so as wave connected armature is there a is equal to 2 directly. Then with 1, 2, 5, 4 conductors, that means Z is given. So Z is equal to 1, 2, 5, 4. Then the flux per pole is 22 milliweber. So phi is given as 22 into 10 raised to minus 3 weber. Then the motor is taking 50 ampere. So as motor is taking 50 ampere, so as this is a series motor your ia will be equal to il uh, or ise will be equal to il and that is given as 50 ampere so ia is 50 ampere directly given the armature and series field coil resistances are respectively 0.3 ohm and 0.2 ohm that means ra is given as 0.3 ohm and rse is given as 0.2 ohm. Calculate the speed and torque of the motor and also the power developed in watts. 
So we need to calculate speed m, torque P A, and the power developed. Okay. And now you can observe one thing in this. In case of series motor, the value of R A is 0.3 and R A C is 0.2 ohm. Whereas if it is a uh, shunt motor, then the value of R A it is 0.5 ohm and shunt field winding resistance R S H is equal to 200 ohm. That means if shunt uh, field winding is there, its resistance is of very high order. Uh, not of high order compared to RA armature winding, so it is uh, um, uh, almost hundred uh, um, plus ohm. Whereas the armature winding resistance, it should be less than one ohm, right? And if it is a series motor, then both the windings are in series. That's why armature and series winding both will have the resistance which is equal to uh, which is almost less than. One ohm. Okay, so from this we'll write the given data and uh, we'll start to tackle the numerical. So P is equal to four, V is equal to two hundred fifty, A is equal to two as it is wave wound, Z is equal to one to five four, Phi is equal to twenty two into ten raised to minus three whatever. I is given as I A is equal to I S E is equal to I L. That is you can see from this diagram. Uh, in case of series uh, DC motor, this uh, uh, field winding and armature winding both are connected in series and they are connected across this supply. So whatever supply voltage be, so whatever amount of current drawn by this uh, from this supply will be same as the armature current, same as the series current, and same as the IL that is current drawn. So all three currents are equal. So I A value it is given as 50 ampere. R A value resistance of this it is given as 0.3 and R A C uh, it is given as 0.2 ohm. So these both these resistances are given to you. Now we know that E B is equal to you can apply K V L equation for this that is from voltage equation V is equal to Uh, I A into bracket R A plus R A C, any and plus E B. The E B I am not shown here, so you can show plus minus E B. So E B is equal to V minus I A into bracket R A plus R A C because both are in series. That is same I A current is flowing in both these windings. That's why um, it is commonly I A into bracket R A plus R A C. Okay, so find the value of E B from this. Substitute the values of V as 250 minus I A as 50 and R A as 0.3 and R A C as 0.2. And simplify this, you will get value of E B as 225 volt. Now value of E B is known to you. Now you can uh, from the uh, equation uh, E B is equal to Phi into P into N into Z by 60 A. You can substitute the values and you can find the value of M. So E B it is 225. Phi is given as 22 uh, into 10 raised to minus 3. P as 4. N we want to find. Z is given as 1 to 5 4. into A is given as 4. So after simplification of this. We will get the value of n as 244.67. As it is a speed, it is in given in RPM. So first answer we have calculated speed as 244.67 RPM. Now next is TA. TA is equal to you know the formula 1 upon 2 pi phi into I A into P into Z upon A or It is directly T A is equal to 0.159 into phi into I A into P into Z upon A. So substitute the values of uh, all these values, you will get uh, 0.0159 into phi as 22 into 10 raised to minus 3, I A as 50, P as 4, Z as 1 to 5 4, and A as 2. 
as it is a wave winding. So after simplifying this, you will get torque Ta is equal to 438.65, and as it is a torque, its unit is nm newton meter. Okay, and now you need to find the power. So uh, you want to find the power developed in watts. So um, uh, what is the definition of power? If you want to find power, Pm is equal to torque into omega. So Pm is equal to Ta into omega. Uh, omega is you know two pi n by sixty. So Ta we have calculated it as four hundred thirty-eight point six five nm. Substitute the value of Ta as four hundred thirty-eight point six five two pi into n. N we have calculated as two hundred and forty-four point six seven rpm. So substitute n equal to 244.67 divided by 60. So after simplifying this, you will get the value of uh, power developed that is equal to 11.24 kilowatt. So this is the answer. Again, you can find the power as you know Pm is equal to Eb into I. So power is back EMF into armature current. So back EMF EB value you know 225 and IA you know as uh, IA is 50 ampere. So 225 into 50. So that is equal to 11.25 kilowatt. Now both the answers uh, should be same. There is a minor difference in this, and that difference is because of the approximate values we have taken. Uh, for ta as 438.65 because uh, number of digits are more here and we have approximated it to 65 only and value of n also it is 244.66667 uh, something so it is also having more number of digits and we have approximated it to, to only two digits so 0.67 and because of this that difference is there Uh, 11.24 and 11.25, so that uh, minor difference is there. Okay, so by any method you can uh, find this. So I hope you might have understood this numerical also. If you have got any difficulties, you can call me at any time, or you can ask even right now. Okay, the next a four pole series motor has a total number of armature wave. Wound conductors equal to 944 flux per pole 34.6 milliweber gross torque equal to 209 mm uh, nm supply voltage 500 volt and motor total resistance RA plus RAC is equal to 3 ohm. So from this we can write given data as capital P is equal to 4 four pole. Then it is a series motor. Uh, wave wound conductors. So as it is a wave wound conductor, uh, for wave wound conductors, A is equal to two, and uh, Z is equal to nine hundred and forty-four. Y is given as thirty-four point six into ten raised to minus three Weber. Then T A is given as two hundred and nine nm newton meter. Supply voltage V is given as five hundred volt, and R A plus R A C, so combined resistance. It is given as three ohms. So R A plus R A C, and we need to calculate the current drawn by the motor from supply, uh, that is I A, and speed of the operation N. We need to find. So this was the uh, question from SPPU Pune University, December 2012 for six months. So for starting the solution solution of numerical, we'll first write down the given data from this. Then we'll draw the diagram for this uh, series motor, and then uh, we'll tackle the numerical. So first, uh, P is equal to four, given data. A is equal to two for wave wound. Z is equal to 944. Y is equal to 34.6 into 10 raised to minus 3 Weber. T A is equal to 209 Nm. Then V is equal to 500 volt. 
and R A plus R A C is equal to three ohm. Okay, now we'll let us draw the circuit diagram for this. So this is a series uh, DC motor. So supply voltage V will be applied across both the winding armature and uh, field winding connected in series. Uh, armature winding resistance is shown as R A. Uh, field winding resistance uh, as it is connected in series it is r s e then e b you can show uh, back e m f plus and minus polarity here e b then it is a motoring operation so m then the current uh, drawn that is i a is equal to i l is equal to i s e and that is the this current now the ask quantities are first ask is a t a so t a uh, that is the torque you can uh, uh, no it is i a is ask uh, armature current or the current drawn is ask torque is known to you so from torque equation you can find the value of current as t a is equal to 0.159 or 1 upon 2 pi into pi into i a into p into z upon a so in this equation you know the value of ta 1 upon pi r it is 0.159 then phi is known to you 34.6 ia is known to you ia uh, is uh, unknown to you we want to find ia then p is given to you as 4 z is given to you as 944 and a we know as it is a wave wound Uh, a is equal to two. So substitute all the values except I A. So you will get T A is equal to two hundred nine is equal to one upon two pi into pi as thirty four point six into ten raised to minus three. I A you keep as it is I A. Then P as four, Z as nine hundred forty four, A as two, and find out the value of I A. So if you simplify this. We we'll get the value of I A as twenty point one ampere. So value of I A is known to you now. You can calculate the value of E B. E B is equal to V minus I A into bracket R A plus R A C. V is known to you five hundred. I A we have just calculated twenty point one. So I A you substitute as twenty point one. And R A plus R A C combined resistance it is given to you as three ohm. So after simplifying this, you will get value of E B as four hundred and thirty nine point six nine volt. Now value of E B is known to you. You know one more equation for E B as E B is equal to pi P N Z upon sixty A, in which unknown is only N. E B you have calculated as four hundred thirty nine point six nine phi, you know as thirty four point six into ten raised to minus three p as four m is unknown. We want to find z as nine hundred and forty four sixty into a as two, and it is no one. Now in this, if you will simplify this, you can find the value of m. So n value it is coming out as. 403.85 rpm as it is a speed its unit is rpm so i hope you have might have understood this numerical also we we'll, let us move to the next numerical a 100 kilovolt belt uh, belt driven dc shunt generator running at 500 rpm on 220 volt supply Continues to run as a motor when belt breaks. So that means uh, it is a DC machine which is operated as a generator also and a motor also. So this problem uh, or numerical uh, you have to bifurcate in two parts. Uh, one operation as a generator and another operation as a motor. So while operating as a generator. The given data is P is given as 100 kilowatt, then V is given as uh, 220 volt supply voltage V, and N as 500 rpm. So these values are given. 
and uh, uh, more values are given as the resistance of the armature and field winding are 0.025 ohm and 55 ohms respectively. That means R A is given as 0 0.025 ohm and R S H is given as 55 ohm. And the total brush contact drop is 2 volt. That is V brush. Brush voltage drop is given as 2 volt. So this data is given for a decision generator. So it is operating as a generator. And uh, when it is operating as a motor, when it runs as a motor, it draws 12 kilowatt from the supply. So that means power P is given as 12 now. In, uh, when it was operating as a generator, P was given as 100 kilowatt. When it was operating as a motor, the power P is given as 12 kilowatt. Okay. And uh, Rest data is same. That means IA will remain same. Okay. ISH will remain same. Now, uh, what we want to find? <coughs> find the speed at which uh, it will run as a motor. So, we want to find the value of N when it will be operating as if it is a motor. Okay. So, from this, we will write first the given data. So, given data as a generator, uh, when it, op it is operating as a generator, um, P is equal to 100 kilowatt, V is equal to 220 volt, N is equal to 500 RPM, RA is equal to 0 0.025 ohm, RSH is equal to 0 0.55 ohm, and V brush is equal to 2 volt. Now, let us draw the circuit diagram first. So, it is a operating as a generator, and it is a shunt generator. So, um, armature winding and field winding, they are connected in shunt, they are parallel. So, I have drawn here uh, armature winding, uh, brushes I have shown, and uh, RA is the resistance of this armature winding, RA. And as it is operating as a generator, I have written here as a G. <coughs> so, it is operating as a generator. Then, RSH, that is shunt field winding I have shown, uh, its resistance is RSH. And both these windings, they are applied across this supply voltage V. Now, as it is a generator, then this current will not be drawn from the supply, but it will be provided to the supply. So, IL will be having this outward direction, right? In case of motor, this IL direction will be in opposite. That will, uh, that means it will be accepting from the supply. So current will flow from supply. Now, as it is operating as a generator, current will flow towards the supply. So this is the direction of current. Now, as this is the direction of current, it will be generated by armature. So armature will provide the whole current. And this current will be divided in two parts. One is ISH and another is IF. So shunt current winding, uh, shunt winding current will also be supplied by this armature. So IA will be equal to ISH plus IL. And if it is operating as a motor, then IL is equal to IA plus ISH. This is the only difference. Okay. Now, uh, ISH, we can calculate. This ISH is equal to V upon RSH. RSH is given to you and V is given to you. So V is 220 and RSH is 55. So ISH will be equal to V upon RSH is equal to 220 upon 55 is equal to 4 ampere. Okay. Now ISH is known. IA you can calculate for that purpose. P is given to you and V is known to you. So IL is equal to P divided by V because P power is equal to V into I. So, IL we want to find that is P divided by V. So, power is given as 100 into 10 raised to 3 watt divided by 220 volt. So, P substitute the value of 100 into 10 raised to 3 watt divided by 220 volt. So, it comes out to be 454.55 ampere. 
now il is known to you ish is known to you now from this you can calculate ia ia is equal to il plus ish so ia is equal to ish plus il is equal to 4 plus 454.55 is equal to 458.55 ampere so this is the value of ia now eg generator emf that also we can calculate so generator emf eg from voltage equation we can write eg is equal to v plus ir plus v brush this is the generator emf that's why that generator emf will be v plus ir plus v brush if it is back emf then eb is equal to v minus ir minus v brush but here as it is operating as a generator eg is equal to v plus ir plus v brush substitute the value of v as 220 ia as we have calculated it as 458.55 and to ra ra value is given as 0.025 and plus 2 volt as a v brush it is given so plus v brush as 2 so after simplifying this we will get the value of eg as 233.46 volt at ng is equal to at the given speed as if it is running as a generator with 500 rpm so ng is equal to 500 rpm so this eg uh, generated emf is uh, 233.46 volt which is generated at a speed of 500 rpm so for this generation of this eg will have Uh, to run this generator with 500 rpm so for this eg ng is this okay now next part uh, when it is operating as a motor so when is it is operating as a motor then the value of p is given as 12 kilowatt v is 220 volt ish remains same as 4 ampere now we'll again we have redrawn this figure Uh, diagram is same rsh um, uh, and ra uh, armature winding and field winding they are connected in shunt across this supply this is operating as a motor ra and rsh are resistance only the direction of current will be different in case of uh, motor the current is accepted from the supply it is entering in this so il direction is this then ish and ia that means il is supplying ish and ia so il is equal to ia plus ish okay so now uh, ish is same as 4 ampere il is equal to p by v il you know uh, sorry p you know 12 kilowatt given and v you know 220 so 12 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 220 so il is coming out to be 54.55 ampere now from this il and ish we can calculate the value of ia as ia is equal to il minus ish so substitute the values il as 54.55 and minus ish as 4 so it comes out to be 50.55 ampere so this is the value of ia therefore eb value you can calculate the back emf That is EB is equal to V minus IAR minus V brush, so V is 220, IAS 50.55, RAS 0.025, and V brush as 2. So after simplifying this, you will get the value of EB as 216.74 volt at the speed of NM, which we want to calculate. So we need to calculate this NM speed as Uh, when it is running as a motor so this two equations now you know eb value it is 216.74 volt at nm and eg we know eg is equal to 233.46 volt at ng which is 500 rpm now we know that eg it is equal to eg is proportional to m speed so as e is proportional to speed so eg 
is proportional to mg and eb is proportional to nm so if we will take a ratio eg upon eb that is equal to ng upon nm so in this ratio you can substitute the value of eg eb ng you get the value of nm so value of nm it is equal to ng into eb divided by eg after substituting this value of ng as 500 eb as 216.74 and eg as 233.46 After simplifying this, you will get NM value as 464.18 RPM. As it is a speed, it will be uh, displayed in RPM. Okay. So I hope uh, you have understood this numerical also. Uh, I think uh, time is running out. so i uh, don't think uh, we'll be able to cover uh, the next numerical or not but we'll start it uh, if it will be finished up then no problem if uh, i'll be unable to finish up this problem uh, tomorrow we'll uh, revise the same okay so first we we'll start uh, this a four pole 250 volt dc series motor has a wave connected armature With two hundred conductors, so given data from this, P is equal to four, V is equal to two hundred and fifty volt. It is a DC series motor, wave connected uh, armature. That means the value of A is given as two, as it is wave connected. Then conductors two uh, hundred, so Z is equal to two hundred. Then flux per pole is twenty five milli Weber. That means phi is given as twenty five into ten to the two minus three Weber. Then motor is drawing sixty ampere from the supply. So uh, as it is a series motor, that is I L is equal to um, uh, I A is equal to I S E is equal to sixty ampere. It is given. Uh, then armature resistance R A is given as point one five ohm while Series field resistance, that is R S E, is given as 0.2 ohm. We need to calculate the speed under this condition. So we want to find the value of speed under this condition. So first we'll uh, write the given data from this numerical. So given data P is equal to 4, Z is equal to 200, A is equal to 2, as it is well connected. Then phi is given as 25 into 10 to the two minus 3 Weber. V is given as 250 volt. I A is equal to I L is equal to I S E is equal to 60 ampere. R A is equal to 0.15 ohm, and R S E is given as 0.2 ohm. Now let us draw this uh, diagram of this. So it is series DC motor. So shunt, uh, sorry, uh, this uh, field winding and armature winding both are connected in series and in series with the supply also. So across supply we have connected this uh, R A C and R A. Uh, R A C is the resistance of this uh, series field winding, and R A is the uh, resistance of this uh, armature winding. It is operating as a motor, uh, so near motor M and I L, uh, I A, uh, I S E. Directions are same coming from the supply as it is operating as a motor. Now. From voltage equation, we can write V is equal to E B plus I A R A, uh, I A into R A plus R S E. From the or E B is equal to V minus I A into bracket R A plus R S E. So from this equation, you can find the value of E B. So substitute the value of V as two hundred and fifty. E B we want to find I A as sixty and R A as zero point one five, R S E as zero point two. After simplifying this, we'll get the value of E B is equal to 229 point uh, 229 volt. So this is the value of E B. You know now again you know the uh, equation of E B as E B is equal to 5 P N Z upon 60 A. In this, you substitute value of E B as 229 pi as 25 into 10 to the minus 3 P as 4 N. We want to calculate. Z as two hundred, 
16 and a as 2 as it is a wave connected after simplifying this we will get the value of unknown 10 so speed 10 is equal to 1374 and as it is a speed its unit is rpm so n is equal to 1374 rpm so we have um, got the answer so i hope uh, we'll stop here uh, for today um, time will not permit us to go further so we'll stop here today and uh, rest will uh, discuss the numericals uh, tomorrow if you have got any difficulty or doubt in this you can ask you practice uh, uh, try to practice the uh, numericals more thank you bye good day and take care